to the Victoria. Special case for this type of the Yamaha Wallet 4. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about uh, discrete and continuous random variables. So we'll be talking what is a this uh, what is a random variable, what is a discrete random variable, and what is a continuous random variable. Okay, so let's begin our discussion with the definition of a, a random variable. Okay, so we just write here the definition of random variable. Okay, so a random variable is a variable which has its value determined by a probability experiment. So meaning it is a variable in which the value of those variables are, are um, obtained or are de determined through pro uh, probability experiment. For example, let's have an example of such experiment as Tosin uh, Experiment as the tossing of a coin. Okay, tossing of a coin. So if you are tossing a coin, the value of those uh, or the result. So when we, we when we are talking about the experiment, we usually talk about the outcome or the result. So the usual outcome is or the two outcomes is head or tail. Okay. So meaning these two are random variable. So they are determined by the probability itself or by the probability experiment itself because we as the um the the observer or the one doing the experiment we could not determine the the value or, or the result of the experiment but we we have a set of va values which which we know is uh, the possible values that will come out with the experiment but the actual value the actual result itself is randomized by the probability experiment so that's why it is called a random variable okay next we have a discrete random variable so we just write again here the meaning of that one discrete random variable Okay, so it is a random variable. Okay. A random variable which has a finite or finite number of values. Okay, so the meaning of a discrete random variable it is a random variable which has a finite number of values so what should, what does it mean so for example the going back to our previous example so the tossing of a coin we have a finite number of values or finite number of possible outcomes so the outcome of that will be head or tail so we could determine that the that for the uh, for a certain experiment so for, for example we, we we conducted three toes so three toes of a coin so we could say that 
on the first toss so we will just write here the number line so on the first toss we have a one for the tail okay so two three so on all of the three tosses we have three which results as a head so meaning we have a finite number of values so the value of the variable itself is a whole number so the possible outcomes we could determine that the possible outcomes could be a whole number or could be a finite value or a finite number so that is discrete random variable okay next we have continuous random variable so a continuous random variable is a random variable which has infinite okay, infinite number of values okay so a continuous random variable is a variable or a random variable which has infinite number of values so an example of that is for example we are conducting an experiment on which of the car has a uh, fast uh, which of the three car has a fastest speed so our value for example the first car is uh, the first car is 34.5 um, kph uh, kilometers per hour the second car is 36.2 kph and the third car is uh, we will have that one as 47.5 kph so what does it what what does this values tells us so it tells us that we don't have a an exact or a whole number or a whole number value of our data or the values itself is not a whole number it is continuous so the value of the results of the possible outcome is limitless depending on the result itself so usually we will consider the the variable as a rand, uh, continuous random variable if it has a decimal point it is not a whole number so that is a continuous random variable okay so here we have discussed discrete and continuous random variable the definition of a random variable the definition of discrete random variable and the definition of a continuous random variable so i hope you learned something from this discussion short discussion I hope you like the video. If you have questions, just comment on the um, um, on the comment box below. And as always, thank you for watching and enjoy learning.